is happening right now. Game number one on the way. Meet your makers jumping down into the area of Sosnovka military base with Orange Snow and company seeming to make their way over towards Novo. Oh, yes. This is where we get to see if everyone's going to spread out nicely to start things off with here. As you can see, it's actually a nice split, right? This is a good start mm -hmm, for the first map. Mm -hmm, I like what mm -hmm. we're getting to see here. This is going to be quite an even spread across the board, but how far are some of these teams going to try and get themselves and where do they want to end up? We do see Wizards making their way up towards the area of just Naya. Seems to me like drones, uh, drone, drone Transporter and his teammates are making their way up there too. Also, Laha and his friends down in Team 4, they're sitting down in the area of, uh, well, just southwest of just Naya. Could be a little confrontation just waiting to happen. Yeah, that's what we're going to look for early on, right? To see if anyone's going to go for that early fight, try and engage, or are they going to sit back and wait it out? And there's a little bit of a split here as well. Oh, and there you Ooh. go. First circles shown immediately right off the bat. You saw Shift take some shots from school up towards Apocalypse, but not a whole lot more to it. Northeastern circle, though. Look to see teams rotate out on the far eastern side by the water and maybe even cross all the way over on the northern side up by the river extremely early on. Jupe securing quick math. They've got to be happy with where they're located, setting themselves up shop in Severny. Yeah, uncontested form as well means they're going to be able to get a bag of loot to walk away with here. Easy positions for them to work off, and they can just kind of wait it out and see what's going to come around them. And there's so there's quite a heavy contention already towards the circle. Mm. Some players are going to have to really rotate the whole way around here, especially MYM down there. It's going to be a bit of time for them to work into this, but they've got plenty to play for here. It's more about getting across, and kind of the other teams are going to run into who are a little bit closer onto it. For sure. See, so, uh, Orange Snow and Company getting looted up here in uh, uh, Novo. Sorry, they'll probably have, if not the longest, then close to it distance up towards the circle. You see two minutes to go until that circle will start closing on in. So a little time yet to go, but they do have teams just over on the other side. The guys from Desperado are doing a farm split, and also you have Snoopy and company from Avagal looting up in Milta. So they've got to figure how and when do we want to cross over here, because it's going to be a tricky road up towards the northern side of the map. A little bit of close here for T-Bone. If he's not careful, he can find himself walking into a bit mm -hmm, of a death trap. He's mm -hmm. further away from the rest of his teammates as well, so he does have to be a little bit more cautious here. MYM, they've got military base fully under control. There's nothing really for them to worry about at this point. It's more the rotation that's going to have to come in. They've got plenty of time early on to grab all the loot they need, but it's coming back round into that because they're not going to have the information on actually where some of these other teams are. They're completely isolated away on the island. Very much so. We did see two teams looting up his line together, fortunately. No shots have been exchanged and no people have been down so far, so uh, haven't really had any issues with that. Could be, as we talked about, if these two teams keep on dropping into the same city, believe me, sooner or later, they will be forced to run into one another. But at least here for the first game, they said, you know what, we'll go west. We're the swarm, we'll go west, you can go east, you know, guys from Wizards, and you can start looting over there. Yeah, and this is at the moment, right? It's the who's going to go for these early engagements? Who's going to go and try and push in once they do see the opportunity? Or are they just going to go for that early safe plays coming in here? It is just that early waiting game we expect to see here, but it's who's going to go for the challenge. And especially, actually, within the circle, right, down to the kind of south southwestern corner, right, there's four different squads in there. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that's where I can expect some of this early action might be able to kick off. Yeah, you see reciprocity looting a school and apartment split down there. And you have Memo and company, Siphon also down there looting up in Rasek. And then you have the guys in team four, they're looting a split in between Yasnaya and school apps. It's not an area we see looted very often, but as we saw before, we had Swarm, we had Wizards making their way up towards Yasnaya. Plane didn't really allow for them to go anywhere else. So I think this is not where you'd normally see them go. They've kind of just settled for this because they're really as you said yourself, well, there are four teams around us. I guess we can't really go anywhere right now. Fortunately, they are inside the circle, but we'll see how they manage to make their way out because I think that Mithralius is the only one with a vehicle on their team. So in for a dangerous one. Ben Q5 here making his way over the bridge as we talk about the guys from Sweden. Nerds. What's really interesting here for the Team Kebab, they really split themselves up massively here. Mm. They've kind of gone on a big scouting mission. It's Efsa who went out straight from the beginning. He didn't even drop anywhere close to his teammates. He went over towards where the western side of the circle is at the moment. And then he's got his one of his teammates over towards the east. And they're really spreading out, trying to see who's around us, what options have we got here. But the question that really concerns me is, what are they going to do if one of them gets picked off early? Because you are completely isolated. You probably won't even be able to rotate in to kind of save your teammate there. Not at all. You really, really, especially when you 
have these far and wide rotations, if you don't rotate as a bunch together, you have to make sure that by getting inside that circle, you make as much room for yourself as possible. If anyone comes up close to you, you gotta get them away, because you don't have yeah. your friends nearby. And believe me, especially with a kill every point system like the one we have here, people will go for the confrontation if they think they have the upper hand. And already we're seeing the rotation come around from the different side here. Got the vehicles in. They're not playing that crazy game of stacking too many people in one vehicle. And that's what I'm always down for. <laughs> let's keep it Let's keep it safe. Let's keep it smart, <laughs> right? How many times when we were doing pie did I start to freak out just a little bit too much? Where I was like, yeah, let's stack everyone in one vehicle. No, yeah, please, let's don't, not. Don't do that. Don't do that. There are plenty of vehicles to be taken. Fortunately, it seems like most people have found their own. A little crate being dropped up on the northern side of the map. And also we have the guys in MFS and company. As you said yourself, team number three here. Far, far wide and spread. Unseen, Shish and the other guys from Kebab, they are down on the, some call it pre asnaya outside of Asnaya, just on the northwestern side of the lake there. And you have a team far out on each side. But up here on the far northern side is an AUG that, uh, well, I mean, if the circle keeps going up in that direction, might be taken. If not, probably not going to happen. MSF, though, he could make his way there. He's, okay, split away from the rest of his team. But if a fight doesn't happen, he can just sneak up there. There's no one else around him. I mean, had this been Counter-Strike, everybody would have been going for that crit. <laughs> <laughs> if they knew it was the owl, definitely so, especially in the current metas. <laughs> Nonetheless, you see the guys furthest, and not furthest in the south anymore, make that, guys, making that. There you go, Four guys furthest in the south, the guys from Unity, just getting over on the other side here. You see Orange Snow trying to hold behind. He knows for a fact that Meteor Makers, or at least another team, was on the military island, and they want to make sure that they are not just behind them. Seems like they would continue their rotation. Meteor Makers here making their way over on the western bridge from Millie. Yeah, they've got to be a little bit cautious there as well. Like we mm -hmm. said, they don't want to come and fall into one of these engagements where their team's just waiting out for them. But this is interesting. One of the unique players has got himself stuck in there. He's kind of like in the midst of it all when they're trying to rotate round. It doesn't look like they're going to go and try and take that fight, but he really doesn't want to be in a position where he just gets picked off early on here. Yeah, got to play it extremely safe, especially in the early stages of the game. I cannot say enough how important it is to keep you guys up and alive until those chaos circles, when you get to circle five, circle six. If you have just that one one man advantage in those scenarios is gonna well it's, it's gonna up your chance to win those team fights by such a large margin no i'm still very confused of what team kebab's trying to do here we've got mfs still up towards the eastern side avangar actually kind of falling their way towards him now and this is where it could get a little bit dicey for him he's potentially going to get locked in on his own look at this memo somehow managing to get over to the compound realize it's taken turn around and get back without any damage done towards him that was a very very fortunate scenario for the guys from Sweaty Nurse. And now, actually, the bit of a pull up comes up anyway. People are going into the combo. Memo comes in immediately, taken down as Insolenso secures himself the first knock of the game, first knock of the tournament, that is. And there goes Siphon saying, Wait, there were people here? Turns around and tries to get away from there. Yeah, you can see what was going on. He took some damage, but he will be able to stay alive. Gonna take off a few more shots off towards the vehicle, but they are gonna escape ever so carefully. He's dropped down on health once again. Oh, Memo with the knock, though. He's just trying to back away, but he is probably going to get finished, and that's exactly what happens. There you go. First point of the PUBG Contenders League has been given out to the guys from Quick Math. We'll see if they can get themselves some more. See Reciprocity rotating up around the northern side. New Circle is just about to pop, so we'll see if it's going to benefit them. No, it will not. Now, they do have the chance to come down from the northern side, but that circle went back down south, and yes, Naya seems to be right in the middle. Yeah, really nice for the Wizards team there. They're going to be thanking themselves. They're going to say, hey, look, we're in a good spot right now. We can just hold on to this. Haven't got had the nice rotate for finding their way in. That crate didn't seem to get touched either. I don't think we saw a nope. single person. So that's, <laughs> that's just a lonely crate at the moment. But yeah. actually, we can see reciprocity. They're going to start and make their way around. So there is an option here for it. For sure, there you go. First team knock of the tournament. Expect to see a lot more of those coming your way. Roopsy unfortunately running over his teammate in Flower, but I'm sure there'll be uh, a, little, a little clap on your shoulder saying, you know what, this it's the jitters. You know what, we're all so excited. He yeah. accidentally ran his teammate over, and then uh, I believe from here on out, they'll try not to do that again. Oh, this is what it comes down to as well, right? Little mistakes like mm. that can be a thing that, especially in the early games, they've got to find their comfort zone again for it. There is pressure here. There is a lot on the line. Now, we see with this area of the map, we just talked about Yasnaya being right in the middle. You see Unity here getting themselves heaven or backflip, whatever you want to call the compound here. But for some of these teams that are coming in late now, this area of the map is so open. There are only X amount of compounds available. And should that next circle include even just half of Yasnaya, 
believe me, more and more teams will be forced to go in there. We already have Drone Transporter and his guys inside the uh, very center there. But if, if the next circle goes here, there's not going to be compounds available for everyone. This is really interesting from Team Kebab. We keep coming back to them, but they're playing this on such a looser style. Three players stuck together, MFS all the way up to the eastern side. But Wizard, they got themselves in a nice battle to start off with. Huge misses on these shots, though. That's not ideal. You should be able to tap that away. Colonel missing a few shots. Apocalypse trying to make the run on through the very middle here. Mithralius has gotten himself the uh, very, very centered up. Um, Wizard here in the middle of everything. Seems like Apocalypse will live with this scare, so might as well be better off just blowing up the vehicle here now because, uh, well, you won't be driving that again. Yeah, don't want to be driving that again. That's too risky at that point. Reciprocity, though, they've worked themselves all the way around for the western side, back up over now, coming in through the east side. And again, they're going to come into this fight where it's so heavily contested at the moment, but they've just played it smart and slow and collective. And I think they just ran past the crate as well. No one seems to be too bothered by that. Nah, why bother? You have a rotation to make. <laughs> El Giganten, one of four teams so far, have been made their way down towards maybe not inside, but at least in the area of Yasnaya, setting themselves on shops in the northern apps. Terrain up there, trying to see if they can spot some people coming from the northern side. And again, should this circle go south, they might be in a good spot. We talk about how it's a kill heavy point system. Doesn't mean you'll be going for kills, but it just yeah. means those free kills that you will be able to get on rotations and stuff. That's why you see the likes of um, of Unity sitting on that bridge waiting for teams. If you can get free points in a in a system that's this kill heavy. That's what you want to go for. Exactly that. You, Especially where it's only the top eight, they're going to get the points right. Mm -hmm. Getting those extra kills in could be the difference between you actually placing higher than some of the teams that you when they, they don't even make it through within for that sure. top eight. For sure. Quick math, having found themselves up shop in the uh, northwestern side of Yasnaya. Going to be laying low there for a little while longer, at least for another 10 seconds until the circle closes on in. And then we have a team coming in here from the far, far, far northern side there, all the way up by Kamesh. You still have got quite a ways to run, and hopefully for them the circle will go north. Yeah, and th that's the difference, right? You can see these couple of teams, Reciprocity are well included in that. They've massively put themselves on the long game here, not going in for the kills, but taking their time, getting a lot of space to work with here. And it's actually benefited them massively here, as you can see how this circle has formed over towards this eastern side. Yeah, exactly. You see how far in the eastern hardship has come. It alleviates so much pressure from the city center, makes so much room on the east. So as little as Reciprocity had the circle center before, as much will they for sure have it now, trying to make their way further around on the right side, get themselves a good Bone in the middle of everything. Woohoo! Gotta go flying with Rallius trying to wow. go on through. Gotta watch out though. That vehicle is low on HP and O'Connell secures himself the second kill of this week's games. Besiktas now though, pulling up and the guys from the Sprata. Yeah, big battle coming off here and it's going Besiktas way to start off with the knocks coming in. This is looking really strong from they're looking to put the end to it and that's exactly what they're gonna do. Got a lot of players down, not a whole lot of them remaining, all of Besiktas, with the exception of one player, I believe, taken out right there. That's Lux sitting all by himself now, but him not being able to peek this means that Calvin can get around and get both Fike, a Fake and Talsera back up on their feet. He's now sharing a compound with four guys from Desperado. That is not going to be easy for him, because not only is he alone, but he's also on the edge of the circle. And they rolled in there so confidently, right? It was looking like it was all going to go their way, but they've managed to hold on. They've only got one more player to find. Lux is heavily pinned down here. Got the nade in hand. He's going to throw it out, try and push a player out of position. It's all about what he can do to stay alive here, but he's completely surrounded, and there's not really a position he can go to at this point. No, and for the guys from Desperado, they've got a figure. Do we want to live with a thorn in our heel for a little while longer, or do we want to try and go over, push him, get him eliminated so we can make some more room for ourselves and play it safer? You see Nate, you see Smoke's thrown. They want to make some pressure. Now it seems like they're all committed to the push. They know there's only one guy left. Might as well clear him out. Yeah, let's go and get the kills, right? This will be the third kill for this team to try and push up into it. A lot of damage coming Lux's way. He's on 31 health, trying to spray it down as they push in. He managed to get the first knock, but that's going to be a hard task to do. They're coming from every single side, and Besikas are eliminated. They will be your first team out of match one here for the PUBG Europe contenders. Important finish off coming in there, and gutsy play, honestly, coming in from the guys in Besikas. They saw this is a compound on the southwestern side, not expecting people to still be there. A little bit of a miscalculation, unfortunately, for them, um, that they go down. Now, Elke and they have left the area of yes nine, but now they're shooting back towards the guys from Swarm. That uh, Well, Swarm has been in here for the entire game, so uh, <laughs> they're not seeming like they want to go. Circle's about to pop once again. Where, James, oh, where will we be headed? Oh, yes, that's what it's all about. Time will tell.
Reciprocity, they've put themselves in such a good position. Now, actually, Team Kebab that was so split up. MFS has not had to move. He probably will have to move this time. He's unless killing. he gets incredibly <laughs> lucky. That would be the most lucky circle push he's probably ever had because yeah. he's been sat there, what, for two circles now? Without Something really like having that. to move at all. He's just been scouting out completely. But I'm still very concerned that he's just alone. And now he for Ooh. sure will have... Oh my, are, we, are we actually doing this, guys? Is this going to be the... Is this going to set the standard for what we're in for for the next 47 games? <laughs> yeah. Are we having game one? finish inside of Yasnaya. That would be crazy. Yasnaya has been a huge focal point from the start, right? It for has, a fair few has. teams. That's where everyone's still kind of grouped together. <laughs> Reciprocity, they're in a bit of a battle over there towards the western side, but there mm -hmm. could be sandwiched mm -hmm. in between the two teams at the moment. I think it was in the Korean League a few weeks, um, one week ago actually, that we saw uh, 31 players live in the last circle in Yasnaya. Wow. Just goes to show how hectic it can become when all these teams are forced to go in. You see Ubikan, the guys from Unique, doing some damage over to the guys from We Need a Home. A few knocks coming in there, but not seemingly any finishes there. You go, Raider does go down to this route, and now alongside the guys from Meteor Mega saying, you know what, there's only one way, and that's to watch Yasnaya. Yep, they're going to have to push in. And they're choosing the right side to do it on at the moment, right? Mm -hmm. They could potentially mm -hmm. run into MYM, but on the, the kind of the, the far western side that they've gone here, there's no actual teams within the compound they're going to look to lock down. Yeah, you see Unity here finally securing off some kills, but now it's going to be the guys in the Pugalip and company trying to hold up Unity, making their run around the right side. Right here of the hill, and Pugalip gets spotted out. Cizeron gets some damage done, but it's going to be Orange now and Yen getting himself a knock. Yeah, can they come in with the finishes here? Laza spraying away, manages to get the tag on, can't finish him off just yet. Spraying away, he's got to be careful though, this player sneaking up on his left hand side. Takes some further damage and he can't hold on, he gets knocked down. And now his team have to be oh so cautious. Orange Snow quickly using that first aid kit, he knows he needs to pull off something huge here. Did, oh no, Drast ran over his teammate! I was like, what's going on here? But Orange, no, he had a good push there. Teaser and pushing underneath, trying to get around to get the flank on. Really smart positioning. But now Blaston got knocked by his teammate. As Dastish and his teammate was trying to come in for the rest or for the help here. So that should leave Lockipop, at least for now, able to get the rest back. There you go. And kind of able to reset. But they are down to just being two guys alive. Team Kebab, though, they're not having a good time at all. Some of their players being taken out completely there. They stayed up towards that north side. They've been playing very split. And look how far MFS is away from his teammate. Looking for a team, they want to make their way around. They know that they had Cesarin down there just before. They said Orange Snow is down in the area, but do they want to push on this or not? Only two players live, and they are actually sitting on top of their vehicles. Could try and take them and get the hell out of here, but it's going to be now or never because this circle is only going to get smaller. And now Drainies and company are trying to engage in this fight as well. Yeah, going for the long range, he's taking a bit of damage himself. He's going to full bang just a little bit. Playing smart on the hill while the rest of this goes down. Reciprocity Scoom goes down straight away. Going to be finished off there as well. Wizards not looking to hold back just yet. Still firing into this. This is the issue. Coming into the final stage, there's so many teams in the S9 now. Everybody wants to sit on the edge so they can get those kills on people trying to make their way in. And there's just not room for anybody getting their way in. MFS tries to do the same thing. Finally, he's going to be taken down by BenQ5 as well. And his teammate, Mr. Unseen, right up towards the north, has no chance of trying to come in and save him. So their hopes are dwindling right now. And he's just going to have to play the long game, potentially, for the points. Still 14 teams remaining, though. Let's see here. Wizards trying to hold everyone outside the city. New Circle is going to pop in just a few seconds. Time will see whether it's going to go further inside the city or if it will go back out into the field for the sake of the game. <laughs> and the match, I hope it goes out, but there you go. Luggy Puff trying to make a run for it. Doesn't work out for him at all. Down he goes, and in 14th place, his team will go. Just on the edge of the circle, though. Or just the edge of the city, I guess you could say. It's going to be a Snyder. It is all the way. It is as we expected it to go. Now, the two teams playing on the furthest outside here. Kebab only obviously got Mr. Unseen left alive. And he's just going to be looking around and thinking, okay, what's around me? Could I potentially get a couple of sneaky kills here? What can I do to ensure that I can try and push in and just play the long game here? Because that's all he's going to hope for. Wizards, though, up at four kills at the moment. Aros looking for more. He's going to see through the smoke and see if he can maybe get a few shots popped off there. I mean, Wizards is kind of doing the same thing they were doing earlier. They sat themselves up in the north or in apps, trying to see if they could spot anyone coming from the north. When then, when they realized there's no one coming from the north, let's take the southern side instead. They rotated down towards the police station down there to try and see if they could get some kills. And now they might just be able to with the guys in the Unity and Unique actually pushing in towards the area. 
here. Very, very rough little dip. They found themselves one nade from Unique would be a full triple kill and a team elimination as well. You see, play with me making the rotation push on up and over. They must hear the vehicles as well, and they're just laying down there saying, please, please, guys, do not come over to us. <laughs> Yeah, they're looking to try and play that long game. Avangar, a team we've spoken quite heavily about at the moment. Very much pinned down. Mm -hmm. Not inside the circle either. You see El Giganten just on the edge up there trying to do some damage, but it's going to be Maxisaur with the knock on Deeks. Could alleviate some pressure, but as you can see, both Starts and Hookstar, they're sitting inside the circle on the edge. They can hold their teammates while they're trying to make that push in. Mr. Unseen has been spotted as he's tried to find his way in. They were looking for him. Oh, your GG looking to try and see where he's going to go next. If he can try and finish him off, he's taken multiple shots towards him. Drone Transporter is there as well. And Mr. Unseen, he's not going to be able to catch a break here. Everyone is looking for him to rotate in. Yeah, so as much as he wants to be unseen in the end, he will go down to the circle. And that's going to be Kebabs taken out in 13th place. O'Connell, we saw just before kidding himself one more knock. So the guys from Wizards trying to do as much damage as possible. And then you have the Poison Team 15 out here in the northern side. I mean, they're sitting on the backside of the shack here. Not really a favorable position. They are in the circle for now, but uh, odds are they won't be inside the next one. Yeah, we're not too far away. Just over 30 seconds before we get into phase six. Some further kills coming out here in Avangard, despite them being picked off because they were kind of just sat behind the hill, right? Having to hold themselves down and anchor in. They've actually now been able to walk away with a couple of kills, and now they're going to start to rotate back around and kind of all group up here. Unique, though, could be the first team they start to run into. Yeah, you see them turning around. They heard all the shots. They saw where they came from, and now as they heard the vehicles rotate around, they know there's one angle that we can spot Avangard from there where they won't be safe from anyone. And that's going to be down here trying to see if they can get around to get the corner swarm, trying to cook the nades to perfection. Gets it down there and gets himself a nug as well. Six gets himself a nug onto the other player there too. So that's going to be two guys down from Team 15 trying to make their way in. And all test is remaining. And Wizards constantly, they've been able to hold on to these compounds for the longest time and they're just picking off players left, right and centre. Everyone is still having to come towards them. The circle is certainly favouring them and they are even taking some further shots back onto Avangar who's still yet to be able to push themselves directly into this circle. You see Aldia, he wants to go for the aggressive place. He has the drone pretty much in the name, trying to sit up there on the eye in the sky with the vision but it decides to fall back. Smart play from him. Realize, you know what, I have the info. I don't have it anymore. Let's just go back. Let's play it safe. We're still four guys up and alive. Let's play for the later game because the new circle has popped and it's going to start closing in real soon. Yes, Naya is where we're going. Where will the next one go, though? Oh, you're still now gone out of the compound, out of the building, trying to push himself around. Wants to kind of find his way into a bit of a fight here. <coughs> Media Makers, they've been chilling here in the Southern Apps for quite a while now. They'll be able to do so for a little while longer now as well, but now it's going to be all up to Avagar making their way in. Full on YOLO pushing, trying to get inside the city, and it's not looking good for them at all. In after them comes the guys in Team Unique. Three guys and one US trying to make the one point, but Wizards, they're all over them. Oh, this could be a huge name from Aros as well to come in. It bounces and it lands very strong, but doesn't manage to finish any players off. Look at this play with me, sitting all by himself, getting the rest back up on to Upika. Nate's coming in, that's gonna be one guy down. Now Unique actually losing one more player in the process. Here, standing goes down. Yeah, this isn't looking good for them at all. They're completely pinned down. Three teams basically looking directly at them. The smokes are gonna be vital in order for them to try and escape as another Nate comes in and play with me is the one that's gonna eat it straight away. Now it's all up to Ubika to come in and try and just kind of hopefully pick some of them up. Look at the split that Wizards have here. And there you go. Team Unique will be eliminated. Rough, rough position to be in. Somehow, somehow Snoopy with this little tree is able to stay put in. He might just be able to get back up Maxisaur as well. That would be very good for him. But no, not going to happen. No, can't let's see himself. That was like, I feel like we knocked one more guy out there, didn't we? And there you go. Down he goes. So Snoopy is going to be all the slip for Evangar. Wizards again. It doesn't matter which way they get attacked from. They're in such a good position. They've been able to hold strong. Communication is clearly on point as well there. And the amount of kills they've had have been... Mm -hmm. It's probably... Like, must be, what, seven, eight now? Very much so, yeah. I mean, th th that's the thing. I mean, you get yourself into a position. The Ike Wizards did. We talked about them sitting on the northern side trying to find kills. Now they go down in the south, do the exact same thing. And here it really works for them. Still four guys alive. Plenty of damage done and plenty of kills coming in so far. With this point system, I'm just telling you, the earlier you can rag up the kills, the better it's going to be for your date. Especially if you can get them without having to pay for it. Oh, almost there, Finkwin. <sighs> Shouldn't have had that second deal. <laughs> 
<laughs> Time was a ticking, and that's going to be 10 guilds for Wizards that now. Is a good this start. is huge, and they're still up, and they're in such a good position. They're only now just having to rotate around a little bit to get into this current circle. And look at the position, though. It is favoring the remaining members of Reciprocity. Yep. Desperados are coming in as well at the same time from the western side here. This is going to be a good split, and MYM, they're still finding themselves in there. They're still getting further kills as Rubsy just takes down Blast on. You see Orange Snow out here on the little uh, patrol area, or the blockade, if you will, trying to see if he can find a way to get in. Probably realize, now, you know what, this is not going to be easy. Ooh, and so Lenzo, M24 to the face of Finquin, that's going to leave a mark, that's for sure. Taking his helmet off, and that's a helmet you really want to have when you come into these close quarterfinals. Now, a bit of the waiting game going on now. Who's going to make the first move to pop out and potentially get finished off here? I, mean, I don't think any of those guys are going to make a move at all. They're just on the edge of the circle. And we all know for a fact, when you have a circle that's in the city like this one is right now, sit tight, wait for the circle to move. If you can stay inside your building, that's what you're going to do. There's no reason for you to try and peek aggressively because other teams will be fighting. Wizards again. T-Bone, he's seeing everything. He knows what's going on here. Doesn't want to allow Hugstar and Z-Stars there to kind of move their way out. He's going to continue to scout around, and he's got so much information to work off of here as the rest of his team work their way in just from the edge. I mean, T-Bone's been running around on the roof for quite a while. He's just been popping shots left and right. I mean, there's a reason that he's down to 60 spare ammo. People might say, well, that's pretty normal in a public game. Sure, but these guys, they're picking up 300 bullets if they can. Yeah. And believe me, he probably did in the beginning of the game, too. He's just been firing them all away. See Calvin taken down there as well. Test is really trying to make a run for it. Single player remaining, I believe, on his team. Got himself a good knock. Maybe they'll leave some pressure off. No, actually, I think uh, yeah, Shushki is up there as well. Orange Snow going to get picked back up, though. He'll be all right for a little bit longer to hold on to this. And this is what's going to happen right now. Nobody's going to leave their houses. You see it right now. It's pretty much set in stone where everyone's sitting. 10 seconds to go, though, until some teams will be forced to make that move, and that's when the chaos is going to come in. We still have 29 players alive, and that next circle is going to show you where the end game is going to be. So it's going to be extremely hard for any of these teams to do anything when it comes down to that, if they aren't inside it. There you go, though. Circle has been popped. Reciprocity and the guys from Quick Math once again dead center. And Wizards, though, they're just on the edge of it. They've got themselves still that building secured. They're in actually a pretty good position, but it's Reciprocity who have really worked out well here. Same with Desperados, who have already kind of started to come into it. Just about 25 seconds to go until some of these edge teams will have to make their way on in, and it's going to be up to the guys in Quick Math and the guys, two remaining players from Reciprocity, to really keep everyone at bay, because believe me, nades will be flying. People will be sprinting down towards you, and you've got to keep your cool if you want to be able to stay alive. MYM under some heavy fire though as they try to come into it. They weren't far away, but there's plenty of teams around to try and deny them getting in. Intense goes down. Drone transporter, he's been firing off constantly from here. They're gonna know exactly where he is, but he hasn't got to move quite just yet. Time is starting to tick away, but he's gonna have to go soon. And that's it. That's how they get it done. They managed to get another team eliminated there, and this is gonna be them looking very strong going into the rest of this. Nine teams left alive now. Yeah, not a whole lot more testing company could do from up there. They knew exactly where they had them, and Smart, that's one of the nice to stick around for a little while longer to secure themselves the kills before they push on forward. O'Connell and company now have to make a move out as well. They can stay inside the broken wall, but they will have to leave the comfort of the high ground. Considering where MYM started off, right, all the way military base having to go for the long rotation round, they've put themselves in some very nice spots now. These circles have worked out in their favor, and again, they're just right on the edge. But Orange Snow, he's managed to still stick alive, right? He's yeah. pushing in with his team, just two of them left alive, and they potentially be able to get into this top eight. Think about this, that's just what we're talking about, right? Talking about point systems and the way that the placement points work. We're still at a point at which the next team that gets eliminated gets a big zero yeah. in placement points. Sure, it has something to do with this ending in a city. And there you go, center spot is where it's gonna be. Five seconds to go, and within this circle push, we will see what team will stay alive. 23 players spread across nine teams in the very final circle here in game number one. Oh, and is that waiting oh, game as MYM are going to take some... Yeah, MYM is the next team to be eliminated. So they're only going to walk away with whatever kills they've managed to have. Desperado still putting up numbers on the board as well as the Swarm goes down in eighth. So they're just going to walk away with one point now. They just all died to the circle. None of them managed to make that run out. Stars going down here as well. Wizards trying to make that run and getting T-Bone back up on his feet. Not sure if he's going to be able to do that in time. 
We'll have to wait and see. That circle is just on the edge. You gotta start moving. Gotta start moving. Gotta get over that broken wall. And Hookstar is just waiting for them to crawl on over. Oh, Ooh, no. The timing. The timing. The smoke comes in. Did he realize they were there? Spots one. There you go. Gets the shot. It's gonna give it not enough. What's gonna happen? No. Hookstar goes down. We're down just five teams. Five teams of Wizards still putting up the kills, still finishing them off. Desperado's trying to push their way in now, and they can't afford to take this circle damage. It's just far too much. Unity get eliminated. They're going to be finishing up in fifth place, and it's all hell breaking loose right now. With just four teams and 13 players left alive. Calvin Klein, he's completely going to be finished off there. They run in. They're not going to allow him to get picked up, and Desperado is just not looking good for them. And there's no stopping to this circle. It's not going to take a breather at all. It's going to continue climbing its way to the very dead zero. Somehow, Raffi and Shiv are staying put in that single house. It's going to be the closest point to the circle center. They will have to, though, if forced to get out of that beat, get out of that compound late, late, late when this circle comes to a close. Raffi now taking down Shiv might just be able to go for the rest, but we'll see. Quick man, they're going for the push. Got to be careful. Shiv getting a, a little bit of a knock going on there. Finishes off Aros, who's been such a heavy hitter. T-Bone's gone down as well. Just two teams eliminated. And Wizard, they've gone down despite how many kills they got. Shiv's trying to hold on there. Push it one by one. Why would you play it like this? <laughs> one by one on? is not the way to do it. 16 health for the Dream. He's going to pop the first aid kit. And Shiv... He's still holding on. This is insane. What is going on? Shiv is all alone. He's holding off four men strong from Quick Math. Why are they doing this? It's the Lance against, but he's getting down as well. Can he do this? 1v4. Shiv all by himself. Wants to get the finish off. It's points. It's points that matters. Shiv, Pelsish, one on one. Pelsish is outside. He's going to wait for him to roll down the window. Does he spot him? Does oh. he see him? He does, but it's not going to be enough. Pelsish in Quick Math secures the win. Holy moly, what a start of the tournament. Shiv, <laughs> what on earth just happened? Like, he was gifted so much then. Wow. They just rolled straight into him one by one through that doorway. Despite what was going on, he was still able to hold strong. What a good play from him. But just towards the end, it wasn't enough. He was heavily outnumbered. And that's what you talk about, right? You talk about coming into this overconfident. We